To the track we go. I am freaking tired. Um, I need to get some ice, ices, multiple ices. Um, and it's raining, so that's a bit of a bummer. Chip was outside, got all wet. Camaro's outside, got all wet. Uh, that's pretty much it, yeah, everything else was inside as far as cars go. No, besides truck, trailer, Brownie's car, Tahoe. It's too early for this. 8.30, I have slept. I feel like I've slept enough, but man, I, my brain and body are telling me I have not slept enough. So, I don't know if you can catch up on sleep, but I've always said I can sleep when I'm dead. So I might as well keep on pushing and uh, keep on doing our thing. Bronte's following me because, like I said, uh, we have a wedding to go to tonight after the track. We're probably going to miss most of it depending on how things go, but it's a, it's a friend of ours and they're about 10 minutes from the track, so we figured we would try to do both because I'm stubborn and I want to try to do it all. So, yeah, on our way to the track. Well, first, Wawa to get some of that sweet, sweet Wawa breakfast. Stop by UPR to grab myself a sticker because I didn't have one. Checking out, showing Bronte some of the parts we use. We run this K-member. Um, we run those front shocks, those springs, um, all kinds of stuff. Pretty much, pretty much most of this stuff. I have these tubular lowers, um, this rear. Yeah, those, those uppers, these uppers right there. Um, these, I got this. Yeah, they, you can basically just go to their website and build an entire SN95 Mustang and just go fast. Guys, Chase has this truck. Chase of Streetcar Takeover has this truck that I feel like everybody in the world says we need one in our lives. And he actually on one owns it. Those wheels look so awesome on there. This thing is sick. Nice interior. Look at that shifter in there, brass knuckles. Justin's Nemo just finished this thing up. Fresh twin turbo build. Maiden voyage last night. Oof. On to tank inspection we go. See how we do. Hopefully we pass.
to come up on me 780 at 174 that was is that, a, is that a best 80 is the best we've been yeah 780 but we have 80. gone 70. yeah we've been in 80. that was 780 right yeah oh, so that's what i mean same. i was, I was oh, just okay. saying 80. yeah, yeah got, it. got a little cooler <laughs> it's so much cool oh, so yeah. cool <laughs> yeah, that's so good though felt good grabbing some fuel from the best oh, we got a ran in the I run the Ignite Yellow, I ran the red in cars, and it's all clean here. Such good fuel. So we're going to fill her up with some fresh corn, and uh, Jay actually grows all this corn too, which makes it even cooler. Exactly. Home grow. Grow. Wait, really? Yeah, I grow it, make oh, cool. it, everything. Yeah, farms it, all of it, the whole nine. Very cool. Fresh made. Woo. You grabbing two? Yeah. All right. Grab two, walk them over to the pit. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Wait, you did me up here, it's weird. These are all, I've never, oh, they rock, yeah. I've never yeah. seen yeah. anything like it. Like, it's so wet. Yeah. Like, I would come from the trailer. All right, we'll be back. A little bit. Yeah, it looks a little bit. Somebody up. do the math on what two five-gallon drums weighs. Yeah. Wouldn't it be ten it's pounds? No, it's not a pound a gallon. It's like I don't know. I think it's like three pounds a gallon. Let me try one. Are they really heavy? You're gonna have to put it down. Workout for the day. Jeez. Wow, you're so sexy carrying those. Oh my gosh, so strong. Those five gallons of fuel. <laughs> Ten gallons. Five gallons. Five gallons each. <laughs> That Mustang right there. You guys have seen it before. I've lost to it before. Um, they keep going faster and faster. They got a good team. Look, that's their team. All those guys are here to work for them. So, no, they got an awesome team, awesome program. Mike and those guys are good people. And I, I really like that shop. So, we'll see what happens.
Well, we kind of knew that was coming. He went a 7-1 against me. Um, I was on the trans brake for a really long time. So the second I got out, I, I felt, I saw a warning light on the dash. So I lifted and I saw him, he was already out on me. So I just was like, I'm not blowing up my motor and losing or blowing up my trans or something. So I just figured it was best to just uh, to lift. And now I'm stuck in a helmet. let off and like did something happen well like i let off and i saw him out on me already and then a warning light came on my dash like it went red so i lifted because i'm like well he's out on me yeah i was on the trans rig a while i got the trans hot right i got the motor hot yeah. i saw a warning light and i'm like stay in it and lose or lift and save the motor and yeah, not right. i was like i'm not gonna blow it up and still lose yeah. if it was like gonna be a close race like he went seven one yeah like, at 190 yeah I was like, That's if it was going to be a close race, I would have stayed in it, ignored yeah. the warning light, but because warning light saw him out on me, know the car well what, enough. Do you think it's in a warning light because of the trans brake? Probably hot. I was on it too well, long. I was, it was I kind was of a rookie really move. Yeah, but like he took a long time to get into the second one. He did. It's a rookie move on my part yeah. by letting that happen. Well, because I, I was literally looking at the time and it was five seconds. Uh, it was a rookie move. Mm -hmm. That's what it comes like, down I've never, to. I've never heard you be on the trans brake that long. I know. I, was, like, what the I, heck? I, I lifted for a second. You can hear it. Like, I kind of like... It's competitive racing. Like, you got to play the game. Yeah, for sure. And I knew I was a slower car. Yeah, so I, I, saw, I saw he was out on me. And I made the decision with a warning light popping up to fly. No, well, I blow fine. it up, yeah. and blow it up and lose. Yeah, no. that would be cool. No. no, so I was gonna lose regardless. He won seven <laughs> one. <laughs> it's consistent. Too. They got a good team. Yeah. Look at these guys over there. They're, they're, right, they're parked up right next to us. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> we're friends. Right, I like well, their balls. It's alright. Yeah. So it sick week tomorrow. Yeah. I get a little more time to prep. I know. Cool. All right. What'd you just find here? I think I didn't screw on my oil cap good. Oh no. Yeah. That was TRD yeah, also. That was there. a nice oil pan. A nice oil cap. Do you think that's why the warning thing? No. No? Yeah, it didn't, like, not much came out. Only, like, a little splatter there and a little bit there. Yeah. Hmm. Probably in the middle of the pan, but we get my dogs are going crazy. Well, we're home with the car. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say there's a 99% chance that that last deal was a uh, oil pressure safety deal. You guys know I've hit them before. I put oil in it before that last pass, but you guys saw from the me leaving the cap off that uh, clearly I did because I left the cap off. But I'm gonna lean towards, we ran into a situation where with no dry sump, we were running the engine so high for so long that it just finally um, put all the oil up into the head. And then once I finally launched, it just kind of uh, didn't have enough in the pan to keep the oil pressure. So it cut me into a safety. We'll know pretty quickly once I pull the log. Probably won't do that honestly until after sick week because why, why pull the log and now? Uh, yeah, so it was really hot, really hot and thin oil. Uh, did Wasn't a good situation and then when I finally did launch, the little bit of oil that was in the pan probably sloshed back and there goes the oil pressure. So not a big deal. We've ran into this before. We'll, um, you know, make sure that, I feel like I've said this before, make sure that the oil's topped off. Even though I did check it a few times, uh, I think we are just in a rare situation where that oil was so hot and so thin that it just was done. But I'm gonna unload the car and, uh, edit up this video and get ready for sick week. So hope you guys are gonna enjoy the daily uploads. Hopefully, keep me to that. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you later.